When I moved here, I contacted some contemporary music groups and said, hi, I'll play harp for whatever, whenever you want me. And they said, sure, lady, we'll call you. Don't call <laughs> us. <laughs> we don't need harp. And uh, there was a group at, a, at the uh, Museum of Fine Arts called Music Here and Now at that time who was, uh, had some contact with William Thomas McKinley at the conservatory. He's one of the faculty at the conservatory. And he asked them if there would be any way that they could get his solo harp piece performed. So then they called me up, and, and here was this beautiful thing, very freely written for the instrument. Uh, I didn't know Tom before I played this particular piece, and when I, I got it, I worked really hard and had him over to hear what I had come up with before, before the performance. And I said, God, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. It sounds so bizarre. <laughs> and he said, no, 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 don't worry about, the, about all the... the uh, parameters of time, you can relax more in it, make it more improvisatory. Um, take time where you feel you need to take time in it. It is not a very, it's not strictly written in that sense, and yet it is, visually, you mm -hmm. know, so there's, you have to find that medium there. And so I took a little more time and, and, and we got it to a place where it was accept acceptable, the performance, and I've been playing it ever since. That was in 73, uh, 74. It's an etude for solo harp, and right, by this whom? Right, this is William Thomas McKinley. Um, this is the first etude for solo harp. There's another etude for solo harp, which he wrote since this time. And this is his first experience with the instrument as a solo instrument. And Tom's a, a, a jazz pianist. Um, oh. By avocation, I suppose. Maybe, maybe he'd prefer to call it vocation. Uh, he's a composer, a teacher, and a, and a pianist, a very fine one. And you see a lot of that uh, improvisational influence in this music. Uh, he believes that's very important in American music. And then uh, this year, we've been collaborating on a couple of things. This, this year, we uh, wrote a grant proposal to the Mass Council on the Arts called Introducing the Harp to High School Students, which calls for a um, concerto for harp and high school concert band which has since been written by Tom. It's called Rhapsody for Harp and Band. And it's to be used as a vehicle for introducing the instrument to high school students. So we're going to be going around doing that. Um, the concerto was commissioned by the American Harp Society on a national level. And the Mass Council, of course, is helping with performances here. But um, he's very free with the instrument, and I hope he writes more. I know he's, he wants to. And um, this particular work... Uh, really takes full advantage of it, as far as I can tell. I've, I've never played anything that's so wild and free on the instrument. It's, it's encouraging to, 